Good evening, everyone. And happy Halloween. Halloween as it is meant to be. As we know, Halloween is All Hallows' Eve. The Eve of All Holy Day, All Saints' Day. You are really celebrating Halloween, truly. And you don't need a mask. (laughs) Father Izaki was given a little present by one of our parishioners when he went to visit her, her home. And she gave it to him and said, this is a Halloween gift. And Father Izaki said, I don't have a mask. And the woman said, don't worry, Father, you don't need one. But what is this day, this Halloween and All Saints Day? Today we celebrate all of those saints, including those who have not been canonized. We know, of course, all the saints that are canonized, and we're absolutely certain that they are in heaven. By an infallible act, the Holy Father declares certain people to be in the presence of God eternally in heaven. St. Catherine of Siena, for instance. Recently, we've had a pope canonized. Pope John Paul II is now Saint John Paul II. By this infallible act, we know that we no longer need to pray for him or for Catherine of Siena, rather that they need to pray for us. However, as we heard in our first reading from the book of Revelation, St. John tells us that he saw a multitude in God's presence, so great that he could not count them all. We know that there are a certain number of canonized saints, those who are on the canon, the list officially of saints. But there are many, many more, many that we hope to be among them someday. This is their feast day. What is a saint? Well, there's once a young boy by the name of Johnny. And in Johnny's parish church, all the stained glass windows were filled with saints, like we have here the Immaculate Conception and St. Catherine. But in all of his stained glass windows in his church, there were other saints as well. St. Teresa of Avila, St. Dominic, St. Francis. And so one day the parish priest asked little Johnny, he said, Johnny, do you know what a saint is? And Johnny says, yes, I do. He says, well, what is a saint? Well, that's simple, Father. A saint is someone who lets the light shine through. And that is indeed what a saint is. Someone who allows the light of Christ to shine through them, to give others a clarity of the world around them and of the path to heaven. A stained glass window is not an obstacle to that light. Rather, it enhances that light, making it clear to all. That's what a saint is. A saint is someone who lets the light shine through. In their lives, those that enjoy the beatitude of heaven had put their entire trust in Christ and lived heroic lives of faith. We hear in our gospel, our Lord give us the beatitudes. Each saint is a saint of the beatitudes. These beatitudes are, as Pope John Paul II, Saint John Paul II once said, these beatitudes are a sketch of the face of Christ. That sketch of the face of Christ, that portrait of Christ, is reflected in those who live the Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are they who mourn. Blessed are the meek. Those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. The merciful, the clean of heart. These are the saints. The saints who have put the Beatitudes into their lives. The saints are also our role models. They're people that we can follow. You know, when I was young, I used to love when it snowed. Not only because we got off from school, but because I had an opportunity to go through our 26 acres of land and just run around in the snow. What made it so helpful was that my older brothers would do the same. And when I was very little, it was important that they got ahead of me so that I could follow them in their footsteps. As they crunched into the snow and left those markers, I was able to follow them by putting my feet in their footprints. This is what a saint is. 
The saint is someone who is our role model, who has gone ahead of us, who has left behind his or her footprints on this earth, holy footprints that we can step into ourselves and in our own lives, in our own vocation, our own particular moment and time and place, follow them along the road. They were ordinary people from all walks of life at different times in human history. So are we. And we follow in their footsteps toward heaven. Finally, saints are not only those who put their trust in Christ, living the Beatitudes, but not only our role models, but they're also our heavenly mediators. There is only one mediator between God and man, and that is Jesus Christ. But just as we ask each other to pray for one another, so we can ask the saints to mediate in the one mediation of Christ to God our Father. They too share in his holiness, and they do wish to pray for us. Again, in that book of Revelation, that first reading, we heard of the great multitude that could not be counted, and they're around the throne of God giving him worship. And later on in that book of Revelation, we hear that they and the angels are offering up their prayers for all the holy ones on earth. They are waiting to intercede for you and me. When St. Catherine Labore received those apparitions of the miraculous medal, she noticed that as Our Lady put out her hands, they were rays coming from rings on her fingers. But she also noticed that certain rings on her finger were were emitting strong, clear rays of light, and other rings had only dim rays of light coming from them. She asked Our Lady, Dear Lady, why is it that those certain rings only let off a dim light? And Our Lady answered, Well, you see, those are graces that God wants to give his people through me but people are not asking for them. We have a whole multitude of saints. Saints that we can turn to for all sorts of reasons, especially Our Lady, the Queen of all saints. They are our elder brothers and sisters who have gone before us and are in heaven wanting to intercede for us. Today, on All Hallows' Eve, may we turn to those saints asking for their intercession, asking that they might help us, that we might follow in their footprints, that we might truly be men and women of the Beatitudes. In that way, God willing, upon our own death, our own passing from this life, we will truly be people who can look back at our lives and say, yes, I have done my best to let the light shine through. And therefore, in the future, our descendants will look on this day knowing that it is our feast day as well.